Before we do anything in this course, we have to talk about data security. We have access to our clients' lifelines, all of their login details to websites. This could be anything from Netflix to their bank accounts. You'll have access to their credit cards, social security numbers, addresses, emails, you name it, we have it. And that's why it's a great idea to invest in a password manager. The services like LastPass, Dashlane, or 1Password combines a local password manager with cloud-based storage. What that basically means is that they save, store, and organize all of your passwords and credit card details in a vault that is encrypted. They also create strong passwords that are difficult to crack, and they make it easy to change your password in the event of an unlikely hack. Or should I say in the unlikely event of a hack? The good news is you have your choice of password managers to work with. Personally, I use LastPass, but some of my clients also preferred using Dashlane. The choice is really up to you. I suggest that you get familiar with all of these password managers and figure out what one feels the best to you. Because you, as a VA, have a chance to really create a business that you love, including using tools that you really like and that are easy for you to use and maintain as well. So once you do choose a service to use, Start storing passwords. I need you to be diligent about this for sure because you never want to have a conversation with a client that goes along the lines of, well, I wrote your password and bank account info down on a post-it note and then that post-it note disappeared. Or worse, let's say you go to work from a coffee shop or an airport one day and you log on to an open network. An open network is when a public Wi-Fi doesn't have a password. Now this feels convenient, sure, when you go to a cafe and you log on to their open network, but without a password comes extra risks. If there are smart hackers who are actually in the coffee shop with you, there is potential for them to steal your passwords. Your client's data is included in that since theoretically those passwords and details live on your computer. So be extra mindful that it's part of our job as a VA to make sure that your client's data is securely stored. Let's jump into my last patch and I'll show you quickly how this works and how you might use this with your own clients. Let's look at a few items on LastPass that I just want to point out to you to get you a little more comfortable with a password managing system. First, there are two ways you can access it. You can always access your password manager by the web. This is just Googling whatever service that you're using and accessing it right from here. Or you can also install an extension. If you're unfamiliar with an extension, uh, I'm using Chrome right now. Um, let me bump this down a little bit. Chrome actually allows you to install various extensions, which are basically easy access to get to a certain tool. So LastPass is one of these tools. And by clicking on the extension, uh, you'll see that I actually I can actually get right to my vault. My vault is where I keep all of my passwords, my clients' passwords. I can look through recently used items. I can even generate secure passwords without even needing to make something up. So as you can see, um, you can get as specific and hard or as easy as you want to make something. But uh, LastPass is this kind of awesome tool. And if you do use LastPass, I also recommend that you get the extension as well. But let's look at the vault. Let's go ahead and log in. And I want to show you a little more about um, why this service is so powerful. When you're looking at your vault, you'll see right away that I've got these different categories and the number next to it is how many items, that's how many websites I have saved in each category. Um, if I were to scroll down further below, you would see that I've also categorized a lot of my clients by the name of a company or the name of the person. Now the extension, as I mentioned earlier, is kind of nice. You only need to click on the extension and you can search for the website in question. And when you type in the website here in this little bar, um, all the details will auto-populate and it will give you an option that says something like fill in details. So you don't even actually need to access the vault. You can just fill in the details so that the client's uh, username and password is automatically generated, thus granting you access to their website. But of course, if you do want to access your vault, you'd only need to open one of these tabs, um, click this down arrow to see the items that are in each of these categories. LastPass is kind of nice because it automatically categorizes things for you. It's not 100%, 
sometimes they are way, way off and uh, it'll categorize something as health that's actually supposed to be under entertainment. Something to be mindful of, but I do really like LastPass in that it does that automatically for you because other password managers like Dashlane don't. You actually have to add the category yourself. The vault is also where you will add certain things like payment cards, bank accounts. So if a, if a client gives you access to their bank account so that you can help pay their estimated taxes or they give you credit cards so that you can make purchases for them in the future, you're going to save your payment info here. Um, same with driver's license, passport, social security numbers. The last thing I want to mention to you about LastPass, and I'll go ahead and log out here, is that it comes with a master password that is only known to you. The bad thing is if you forget your master password, it's actually quite hard to recover the account. So I recommend that you have a password that is known to you and known to you well. 